National Cathedral, National Cathedral, and Seminole, and what thing? Nana Danko Ako Fuado, and a ma a ya, a tea, say, Yami be a chen and copes where ye de bois or my gana. Na a ye pub G, I be dinko more dear for home. Now the pub G no one in the Cassa and America Seminole womb more. Cassa to me say, America Seminole, Coswa, and Yasem Ketwa. A dear and Seminole pub G, I beca, a dear fa, a yes, I kiss ya me came home. Maybe see a quen you could tea in Seminole Hodwa, pub G, a kaye. A bra or tin a fidus no watch the chidim, a monk of four a hunu, sing young copony a pessy a summon or no, or sing young Bible no crass one tid dying the paddin in says him. I'm your defeat baby, and what they buy. Eh, Pabjin some more or Becky Kane, but of our comment to go comment section. Or your right is with this uncle Moe, and that's a white gentleman who is so on Tiasiana. For our comment to go, Pabji, you good, you know. A cheerful. As a Maya and as a Ba Munchambio, I am in Pesenka. We've been media view, but um, pressure na a bam sumo. And you easy to resist. Um, and there at the Titra, I up more Mohemi, Motabusa, Samonte, Sasamoya, I can't home baby. I didn't mean him near Coswana, and I said, I'm interested. Well, I know what's going on. I follow almost everything that's going on in the country. And I'm very regular on the internet also. And I know what's going on. Almost um, all the bad things in particular going on in the country. People are asking me, why haven't you talked about the National Cathedral? Since this thing came to the public, everybody is talking about National Cathedral, National Cathedral. Samuel, are you in favor of this, or why are you so quiet about it? Well, I'm getting all kinds of questions, but I want to clarify um, a few things. I'm not in favor of it. And sometimes I think I talk too much sometimes. I think I talk too much and I certain things I don't want to talk about. But uh, there's a lot of pressure on me People want to come from America, Ghana, all over the places to talk to us a mile. They want to know my views about this, uh, this national cathedral thing that's going on in the nation. What do you think, Mr. Samaya? Well, uh, this is a chance that um, I think I'm privileged to uh, let you guys know what I think about the whole, uh, the whole story. First of all, we have to understand what a national cathedral means. And um, I have checked on many sources, and you who is listening to me, when I finish, you can Google or go to internet and check Ghana National Cathedral. You see everything that I'm going to talk about. It's in public. But unfortunately, not many people show interest in, uh, in finding out what the whole thing is all about. If you check it, a cathedral is a, a bigger church that a bishop can go in and have a seat an altar and preach the gospel. It is the biggest house where um, Christianity uh, it's, it's, um, is worshipped out there. Uh, a cathedral is bigger than ordinary church. Its equivalent is possibly the a national mosque, which is found in uh, Arabian countries. 
And our president, I believe, went to the state of Israel once and uh, he went to a very important place and he had a dream that oh, God has um, revealed something to him that he should build a national cathedral for his country. So when he came home, he made publicity that he's going to build a national cathedral for the nation. But if you check Google, the purpose of the cathedral, the purpose is two things. According to the official reason why Ghana government is involved in building a national cathedral. Even though all the church members are involved, Presbyterian mission is involved, Catholic mission, Methodist mission, uh, Pentecost, uh, name it, all the religious bodies in the nation are involved in this. The board chairman or the board, the chairperson or the, uh, the um, there's a council of members who are the head of this whole cathedral thing. Our president is a Presbyterian. So National Presbyterian head is, I think, the chairperson of this committee. And the official purpose of building a national cathedral with public funds is two. The first thing is that the place can be used to inaugurate a new president. Whenever we're going to have a new president that swears in, that is where the president will go to swear in. And the second thing is when a state official passed away, dies, that is where the ceremony or the funeral procession will take place. Two things, inauguration of presidents and also a place for funeral uh, state dignitaries funeral ceremony will take place. Now, beyond these two, obviously, it is one place that will become religiously important for any religious person to go there to visit and talk to the almighty God. The God you guys are worshiping is the biggest church in the whole nation. National Cathedral is the national biggest church where all bishops can come to meet and praise God. Well, um, the first estimate, the cost of the estimate, was given to the public as $400 million. And to me, I think that was an initial cost. It would be more. But since they started demolishing the official buildings and structures in the area, government has spent $58 million to clear the site and also dig a hole with some building materials and other things on site. $58 million have been spent to start the project. Now bear in mind the purpose of this project and also bear in mind the needs of the nation, the emergency needs of the nation, that even one million can be placed in those emergency areas. A million dollars can be invested in certain areas of the economy that will bring progress and happiness to the people. The government has spent the public money, $58 million, to clear the site of the National Cathedral. In the meanwhile, as we're talking, today is uh, September 21st, 2024. Today is September 21st, 
2024. December 7th, I think I'm right in this, there will be a general election. The president has served two terms. He's not entitled to serve any more term. And if the president party loses this election, it means that the next party, which is coming to power, is likely not to going to continue that project, meaning that the 58 million public funds that has already been put in the project is going to be wasted. As you know, this has been happening throughout the history of the nation. All the way from the year 2001 um, coming, the public, the government of the day spends or starts a project. By the time that government four-year period comes and that party loses the election, the next party does not continue what the previous government started. It becomes waste. We have so many public wasted projects in the country. Millions and millions and millions of dollars have been wasted. Some of them are still rotten, all the way from uh, Kufo's time coming. Wasted. It means that this 58 million dollars that has been spent on this cathedral, if the next government is not NPP, and even if NPP wins, is it possible the winner will continue? And if the party loses, is the next government going to continue? The most probable results of this is that no, it will not be continued. Meaning that the $58 million that the government, this current government, has wasted on the National Cathedral is going to be total waste. Just a few days ago, somewhere, I think, no, I think last week or this week, some young people organized a demonstration. They went to the National Cathedral. A big hole that has been ducked had become a lake. They are swimming in that lake. The cathedral is now like a lake. It's a playground. Swimming. Playground for fun. I believe the leader has been arrested and possibly released. Why he organized the youth to go to demonstrate on that? Now you, the listener, please listen to me very, very carefully. I'm not promoting anything. All I'm saying is that our leaders, there is something wrong with what we call leaders here. Something wrong with them. Their behavior when they come to power, I think it has nothing really to do with the public interest. They come there to do something, whether it is good or bad, that they can be remembered of. A Kufuadro, he has about three more months to finish this project. There's no way he can get there. He's still launching pro, uh, programs and promotions, other things, so that there can be money to continue. He will not get the money. And this is his last term. He cannot be a president anymore. And it's not likely his party is going to win, meaning that the place will be a playground. I know the police will prevent this from recurring. The first demonstration is squashed. The leader has been arrested, possibly been given bail now. But it will continue. This is only the first one. $58 million wasted. Wasted. Now, this is where, as a lawyer, you guys don't really understand me. If you deliberately misuse public funds or public resources, I think we should really bring you to the public to discipline you so that the next leader will not continue. And I've been drumming on this very issue frequently. 
these people, Akufuado, and all those involved, including all the bishops, they should be brought to the public and discipline. Either whip them or do the worst to them to serve as a deterrent. Because this thing has been going on and on and on and on and on. We have to find a way to stop it, to prevent it. If we don't, the next leader that will succeed at Kufuadu will carry on the same thing because there's no discipline in the system. You can mess up anyhow, do any foolish things. Act like a child. No matter the cost, you won't be punished. I'm awful. I, you know, I, I, I try to be as simple as possible, but these issues are very, very serious. And you and I have no choice. We don't have control over it. When they decide to do it, there's nothing we can practically do to stop them. We can't. And we have to find leaders who have good conscience, quality brain cells that can think deep about the public need. Our resources, we have everything, natural resources, we have everything. Why can't this eight million, fifty-eight million dollars wasted on this cathedral be invested in the agriculture area? Or find a way to use this fifty-eight million to dig gold that will not destroy our rivers and forests. That's a way reasonable people can mine without destroying natural resources. Yes, there is a way. There's nothing impossible in this world that if you really want to do, you can find the best way, the best way to do it to achieve your goal without destroying any organic matter. It is possible. But these leaders of our time, there's something wrong here. Mentally, they don't have the sense. The brain is, is like child. Our leaders are thinking like children, like under 12 year old. Even in fact, today, 12 year olds are, are capable of critical thinking. You know, we have to find a way to solve this problem. We really must find a way demonstration can help, but the police is there. If you do something that they see as illegal or provocation of public violence, they find a way to stop you. But I think the police should also find a way to get involved, to get involved, to prevent these things from happening. There should be an action, public action that any leader who misconceives anything that is likely to destroy our, our, our organic matter, we should do something, all of us, you and I, including the police and the military, we should find a way to prevent people from doing these things that are harming us. Please, we have to find a way. National Cathedral is now a waste. And in fact, if you think deep, Akufuadu is telling us that God has revealed to him that he should build the National Cathedral for the nation, for Ghana. If God is real, and God knows ahead of time that Akufuadu will start it, will not finish it, and the project will not be finished. If there's God that gave a kufuad to that vision, God knows everything ahead of time. God has power to change everything, to control everything. That makes God God. Power to control and power of knowledge ahead of time. If God is the one who commanded a kufuad to do this, that God, there's something wrong there. That God should have stopped a kufuad not even to start it. Because being a God, you know what's going to be the result of it. No, I'm out for, um, please, let's, let's all be humans. You know, there comes a time when a certain human behavior makes 
You think that it's, 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 it's just a human behavior? Or black people, uh, I think there's something wrong with us. We don't think deep. We don't do critical thinking. People are using this godly, godly thing, religion, religion, religion. They're destroying everything. Everything. And God has power to stop it. God can prevent this thing from even starting. God knows ahead of time every action that we take on this planet. If, the question is, if, if there is God. He has super knowledge and super power. Why does God allow all this, this nonsense, this senseless behavior? Why should God allow all this to go on? Why? I'm asking you people, you guys who believe there is a God controlling all of us, why does God know this is going to happen and he allows that to happen? Please, let's take away this godly idea, godly information from our brain and use the brain organ to do critical thinking. Think ahead of time to do something that will benefit you and I without bringing God, 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 this spiritual thing in it. It's killing us. It is killing us. Akufuadu has spent 58 million public funds in the name of God. Including all the bishops in Ghana. All the bishops, Presbyterian bishop is a member. Methodist bishop, National Methodist bishop is a member. Uh, 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 Catholic bishop. Um, all of them. Check it on the Google. Check it. And if God allows all these bishops to get involved in these things, that God must be whipped, honestly. Honestly, yeah, the Nyaminu say and Yema P we are destroying everything with this spiritual thing, and it's it's killing us. All this suffering that is going on now, it is all because we're not doing critical thinking. We're putting our faith in everything in this spiritual realm, and it's killing us every day. Every day, it's destroying us. In fact, even the galamse that's going on at the moment, most of these churches are involved. In the meanwhile, every mile you travel in this country, you get at least two or three churches. In Kumasi here, one mile you get two, three, or sometimes even four churches. Go to Accra, Takarani, Tamale, and God knows that these business people are using God's name for their personal benefit. And God has superpower if there is God. What does God use the superpower for? Why can't God stop all these idiots using his name to cheat the public, to fool us? Why? No, you see, this, this National Cathedral thing, I, I didn't really seriously... I didn't want to get involved. But these media guys keep pushing me to talk about it, talk about it. It's waste of energy, waste of resources, resources that could have been put somewhere in the system that you and I will benefit. You're using 58 million. Dollar rate. Huh? Today, dollar rate is about uh, almost 16, 16 cities per dollar. 16 cities. We have how many uh, regions? I think we have 15 regions now. These 58 million, if it had been given to every region, I'm sure we could have built hospitals. We could have improved schools. Up to now, some schools take lessons from under a tree. Desk and chairs and pencils and everything messed up. And the president is using $58 million to build a cathedral. Now it's a well. Waste. 
wasted. No, please, let's find a way to bring this man to the public and punish him. We have to set a punishment discipline in the system to prevent any person from future misuse of public funds. They are abusing the power. They're doing everything nonsense. Huh? These are children. These are little kids who call themselves adults. Akufar is about 80 years old. He's not behaving like a seven-year-old kid. What's going on? Huh? What's going on? This is serious. Serious. It's, it's terrible. Terrible. Even that single area, that religious area in Kwanami Kamazimu, if you bring the other areas together, it's, it's just mind-boggling. Huh? Mining everywhere. Mining everywhere. In towns, in villages. A school building is pulling down because there's a mining going on there. Come on. No, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. No, black men, there's um, something genetically faulty with us. And I hope the new generation will learn a lesson from the past, from what's going on now. They will learn a lesson not to continue what these people and those before them did to us. You know, I hope youngsters will learn sense. They will learn sense from this. Wash away all religious beliefs in the brain. Let the brain be clear, ready to absorb quality information. Do critical thinking to improve life. Yes, let us wash out all this spirituality and all this spiritual nonsense away from our brain and use the brain organ to do critical thinking. All the cells in the human brain are efficient. They can calculate things. They can manipulate it and come to sensible conclusion and do sensible things. Our leaders are messed up. It's all because the brain is not efficient. And you and I, too, our brain is not good. There's nothing we think we can do. So everybody's just going about messing up everything. No, something should be done. Something really, really should be done. Something should be done. This cathedral thing is bullshit. It's nonsense. Building a national cathedral. Unbelievable. Ghana. Well, what's wrong with you? Or is the churches that convince you to do that? Huh? I'm not for. Oh, man, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Honestly, I, I feel so disturbed. Don't want to talk about this, but I'm being forced to say something about this National Cathedral. Why do we need it? Why is the president building it? Why is anybody supporting it? There are certain things that are going on now, but when you think deep about it, you just ask yourself, why? Why? Didn't people think the consequence would be this? Why? Like not long ago, uh, a few parliamentarians passed a bill, uh, L.I., they serve an instrument to destroy our rivers, to destroy our forest, to destroy our soil. And Parliament has passed it as a bill. And as we're talking now, some group of individuals, some stupid individuals, some idiotic, unpatriotic people are seeking license to do mining in rivers. And the, is them and the government is giving them license, especially the president. He's the only one who can sign a permit for anybody to step into a forest. Forest reserved or a natural resource. President is the only one who can sign this LI giving a permit to anybody. 
What is wrong with the president? What is wrong with the people who actually brought this legislative, legislative instrument? I think it's 2462 or so. Why? Black people. What is wrong with us? What gave the idea that that, that legislation should be passed? You know very well that most people will abuse it. Why? If you want to dig gold, there are so many areas you can dig without touching the river. If you guys are sensible, it is possible to dig gold or mine any mineral resource without destroying a river. The soil may be destroyed, but when you finish, you cover it up, even without using deadly chemical. Yes, there's a way. Use the brain, there's a way. Always there's the best way to do anything. All the way from top, the Penny Fony and him for they are all being children. They're not doing critical thinking. They don't. They just do things because their personal esteem is important. Akufuad want to be remembered that he's the one who initiated National Cathedral for the whole nation. That is the whole reason. The whole reason why he's building that. That cathedral will serve as inauguration of new president. Any new president that will be elected will be inaugurated there. How? And also, if a figurehead of the nation or any important public official dies, we can bring the funeral to the National Cathedral. This is the official purpose of building the cathedral. The two main purposes. Inauguration of president and a ceremonial place for uh, public officials who pass away. How? And you spend $58 million for this nonsense? What is wrong with you? Oh, no, I, I don't want to talk anymore. I don't want to talk anymore. I, I, I'm just furious. I don't know. I hope these coming leaders will not start this stupid behavior. They should learn the stupidity of the past not to repeat them. Not to repeat them. Especially this NDC and NPP, CPP, all this party, party, PPP, PP, party, 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 party. It's all selfish organization. We should ban them all. Ban them all. Wicked people. <laughs>